Hello everyone, I'm back. I just had to take a few weeks off to keep up with my academics. You know, all work, no play. So this is Verena Defense Immortal. Immortal's the ship you see in the background that's kind of blown up and crashed a bit. This is a map by a modder called Penguin. And uh, she's done some very nice things with this. I root for starters. The troopers look a little different. Not just the fact that they're phase one, but like the armor's been touched up a bit. It's not just like, you know, what it looks like on Genesis. So this map has air fighting, as you can see by there are some fighters right there. And it's got like tunnels, it's got open fighting, it's got like in base fighting, it's got vehicle wars. Got a landed confederation ship, confederacy ship. Sorry. It's got rain. Just in case that's important to you. Haha! <laughs> 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 I was first. Suckers. Oh yeah, fuel barrels. That's what I'm looking at right now. These things explode, if you haven't been able to figure it out, and I actually think that's very nice that they do. Because it's so often that you get maps that don't have any, like, hazards at all. There's no environmental hazards except for falling, and that doesn't really count in my book. Yay, first kill. And here comes my first death in the form of an AAT. Okay, I'm hiding. You guys, go die. Die in the name of me. Don't spawn in front of me. I promise as soon as I can safely traverse this land Fuck it. Running time! Oh, this is gonna end so badly. Give me your health, thank you. Doesn't seem to matter what I do now, does it? There will always be a droid to go waiting for me. They literally will not leave me alone. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> No, I don't want to die. I like life. Living is very preferable to dying. And not getting shot in the face by your turret, that's also preferable. God dang it, I was going to use that health, you know, bitch. Oh, at least I didn't get sniped. Take a grenade. Well, this is going somewhat well. Now it's not going as well. Uh, ugh, never goes far enough. Damn it. Not only was that a bad throw, but I'm now going to get myself killed by droids from somewhere. Oh yeah, say hello to the manga god. Oh shit! It's basically cheap. Cause it- oh boy! Actually, I'll explain it in a minute. Because as you can tell, it's kind of evil. Oh, there's our special unit. So the mag magna guard has an electro staff. Which acts kind of like a double blade lightsaber. As in it blocks your shots. So it's evil like that. Let's try this again. And it has its Bulldog RLR. That's it, but it's still more formidable than the standard one. Ah, ammo. Thank you very much. Don't 
give the enemy help. Kill the engineer, not me. I like life. Take a grenade. Another change you may notice is that the Super Battle Droid, you might have noticed, I don't know, I've seen it like once, have rocket launchers. They, the author replaced the standard battle, um, assault droid with the Super Battle Droid, and then, god damn it, just hold still and die. Thank you. Hold still and I'll shoot you. Alright. So they replaced the standard assault droid with the super battle droid and then made the super assault droid's um, outfit, the sniper's outfit, and then made a standard battle droid, which became the standard battle droid. Nope. This is... Ah, the commando unit. So we're going to stick with the blaster attachment. There we go. So the commander unit has a blaster, a sniper, and a rocket launcher, and a pistol. Not a rocket launcher, it's more like a mortar grenade thing, but... Hey, they took my diamond thing. They took the bunker that I took at the beginning. That was mean of them. Bitchin', I'm taking their ship. <laughs> there is no one stopping me. Don't stop me now. And now no amount of tank fire from the outside will stop me. I'm not getting killed by that later. I never understood why that bridge is just lying on the floor there. It makes it seem more like they were here before we crashed and decided to fix it rather than and we're building a base rather than, you know, shooting us down like the story says. Now there's not many of them left, so I'm gonna have to quickly show you the other changes to this. Jet Trooper now has a shotgun rifle. Which you cannot control how the double shot, it will double shot no matter what you do. It double shots on both weapons. It is mines in a concussion grenade set. And a jetpack for those of you that can't tell. I prefer this guy though. I'm borrowing your tank. Good, I didn't think there would be any objections. Now, what's left? Ah, I will show you number one, since normally that's harder to capture. And zero is just the inside of uh, the standard Hoth base. If you don't know what that is, go to get your own copy of Battlefront or Battlefront 2 and look inside the hangar on the Hoth map. See, this was taken straight out of Bespin, but it's also very interesting because you got these green glowy things. I really don't understand this, but just don't fall off and you'll be fine. Too bad they didn't add handrails. That sounded like something useful. And then the carbonite chamber seems more like a turret control center. Ah, that was a fail. That seemed like a good idea in my head. See? Whoa, what's that? The ATXT was stolen. Don't do that to me. Stop stealing our stuff. As you can tell, the overheated symbol does not show up very well. This seems to be the one at the top of something. As you can tell, this is really more of an anti-air thing, because it does not have any range at all. Like, it cannot shoot at anything down there. Same with this one. 
I don't think we can even shoot at each other. This one just has way too many trees. I mean, there's too many trees. I can't use it. And there's like a couple over there and a couple someplace else and whatnot. But moving on. We are now coming out. Yeah, you can see where I am. The triangle. Giant wedge shaped thing. Now this is a bit of an addition. I kind of feel this is unfair having two laser turrets right there. No one really can get through unless they're really sneaky and clever and grenade throwing. That's right, sniper attachment. What now? Can't we take control of our own goddamn command post? Guys, come on. Pull your weight. Well, at least you guys get to see everything. So yeah, that's here's the anti-armor thing. When I find some place a little less, yeah, it kind of works like that. Pistol, rifle, sniper rifle goes all the way through. Okay, what's left? And you, you might see when I was playing with the charts earlier that AT X2. That is a Canon Star Wars vehicle that's actually eh, I'd say it's fairly well done here. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. L A A T. I'm borrowing this. Okay, let's take care of our little... There you are. So, like, it acts sort of like the... Sort of like the a LAT from Battlefront 1, only... The driving controls are Battlefront 2. Ow! And his aiming seems to be a little different. That's way more effective. And now I'll show you the ATXT because, well, I have to. And it's only one C, and it's got this mortar th th rocket. It's kind of like a mortar rocket combo. Leaning more towards a mortar based on the arch, but like looking like a rocket. And it basically works like an ATST. It's actually a very nice vehicle and very, very useful. Too bad there's no one to kill. Or I'd show you how this thing murders. I usually prefer to stick to the ground work though. This is, this class that they added is m by far my favorite. I would just wish they looked more arc trooper-y, but it looks very nice. Well, if I don't, if I get to the command post and I don't find anyone, uh, you can see that it's prompting me to take this hero called Nina Keji. That's basically um, Ala Sakura with red skin and two blue lightsabers, and I think the clothes are slightly tweaked. Like, I'll show you if it comes up again. Otherwise, it'll give you something. It prompt you to go get it yourself. The CIS also has another, has their own hero, which is some woman in all black with a purple lightsaber. I'm not fully sure how she fits into the grand scheme of things. Since we have seven seconds for the win, so oh no, I think this is a very good map. And I mean very good, it's, well, it's 
got a good variety and it's fantastic. So, that's all for today. And I'll see you guys the next episode. Toodaloo!